Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow Calf Corner. This week's topic is proper hay storage. Proper hay storage is always important, but in a year like this where hay is so scarce and at record high prices, proper hay storage is probably more important than ever. Now there's some things that we address up front in our conversation this week. We know that if we've got net wrap bales as opposed to twine wrapped, if we've got more density to the bales or to say that a bale weighs more relative to its size, or if we just haven't had a lot of moisture or humidity on those bales relative to when they got harvested, all those things are gonna to contribute to less spoilage and more of that bale of hay still being in good form to feed the cows whenever we get to it. But a lot of those things are past the point that we can do anything about because we're not in hay harvesting season right now. So first thing we wanna talk about this week is just selection of a site to store our hay and the possibility of elevating that hay just a little bit. And here's why. Drainage and keeping moisture away from those hay bales is critically important to reduce the amount of spoilage that we're gonna have. If we're just selecting a site to unload a, some hay and, and put it in rows, better elevation is gonna work to our advantage. Minimization of shade around that is gonna help a little further. And if we can do something to get those bales off the ground, prevent moisture from getting up into them, it's gonna preserve that hay a lot better. This could be something like old pallets, old fence posts, old tires, anything we've got setting around that we might put under hay to keep it away from the ground, keep that moisture from coming up into the bale is gonna to work to our advantage. Second thing we talk about is just the orientation of these bales whenever we set them in. And what we really want is a north-south orientation, like what is right behind me right now, as we think of that, as the sun comes up and goes down through the course of the day, we're gonna have an equal amount of sun shining on the east and west side of those bales. It's gonna help things to dry out once we get a little bit of moisture. On top of that, we'd like to keep our rows about three feet apart or maybe a little bit more. It's gonna permit more wind flow to roll through these rows of hay. It's gonna, again, facilitate that drying process help that hay be preserved. What we're looking at right behind me is actually a bad example where we've got these bales stacked a little too close together. As we think about storing that hay and getting those rows three, four foot apart, to mow down any grass that's growing between them is another thing that's gonna prevent moisture from getting up into those bales. We can potentially put some kind of a wrap, tarp, or cover over our bales, keep moisture off the top of them. Final thought, Try to avoid anything of triangle shapes with like two rows of hay with one stacked in the middle. That over time, if we get some moisture, just permits more moisture to get into the tops of bales. And we start to not only see spoilage from the bottom and ground contact, but more issues up high in bales contributing to spoilage. I hope this helps. And I appreciate you all joining us this week on Cow Calf Corner. <laughs>